Welcome to Going Carnivore in Thailand, where the rainy season has begun. Yes, this morning I spent an hour in the pool while it was pouring down raining, getting my exercise in, trying to be a good carnivore lifestyle person. After I came in, what did I have to eat? Well, I had some of them delicious pork sticks that I've shown you in the past. They're full of fat and full of pork on a little stick that costs like seven sticks for a dollar. Noi went out and got some, so I had that. What did she have? She had some pork sticks and some dried fish that looked like fried banana. Don't know exactly what that was. It was too weird to take a picture of. I didn't do it. Tonight, what am I going to have? Big surprise. Ribeye. And that's about it. Oh, this afternoon, my stomach was upset. So I had a piece of ham rolled up over top a piece of pepper jack cheese. And sometimes, ever since I've been on this carnivore diet, I get this, well, I guess you just call it like this queasy, uneasy feeling in your stomach, like it wants something. But it's not time to eat a whole meal. Let me scratch my nose. Uh, it's not time to eat a whole meal, so sometimes I'll just grab a piece of ham uh, with a piece of pepper jack cheese rolled up in it. Nothing else, no mustard, nothing. And that's it. Uh, last night, by the way, remember I said I was going to have that shrimp? Had the shrimp with horseradish and mustard as a sauce. Now, I know y'all might not have ever thought about this. Typical shrimp sauce that when I grew up it was horseradish with ketchup of course ketchup's full of sugar so I take this horseradish sauce and add it to mustard not a whole lot of horseradish sauce just a little got kind of flavor it with something and uh, Noi boiled some shrimp last night and that was delicious uh, got my exercise in. It's been cloudy all day. And uh, the rain was refreshing. Uh, it's been a long while since I hung out in a pool for an hour while it was pouring the rain. In fact, it poured the rain so much I actually put my baseball cap on just to try to keep the rain off my glasses. However... It was raining so hard, it was hitting the pool and splashing up into my face. So there was no getting away from it. Well, thank you for watching tonight. And uh, I'll leave with you this one crazy thought. Just something I've been thinking about. You know, I was 14 years old in 1969. There were a lot of protests at colleges and around the country, and we were protesting the Vietnam War for, for the most part. But that's a war that we were in, and our, our cousins, our friends, brothers, and sisters, I was only 14, so it was, it was friends. I was the only child, so I didn't have any brothers, sister, but people we know were going to Vietnam, and we were there protesting, saying it was a stupid war to get out. And I think history shows that those protests, we were on the right side of things. My question is, though, we got all these people protesting, being pro-Hamas, yelling death to America while, while getting... A government-funded loan to go to Car Harvard and Cambridge and Yale. Death to America. 
death to the Israelis, all this crazy shit. It isn't even us doing it. Where did we go so crazily wrong? Yeah, it, if you disagree, tell me. If you agree, tell me. Uh, it's not too late. But tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And I'm not talking about a funny video. That's all, folks.